the two and half tribes of Israel. Dear friends, in today's story, we will see Moses' decision about the Midianite women and children whom the Israelites brought with them after defeating the Midianites. Moses got angry seeing the Midianite women who were the cause of the deaths of 24,000 Israelites. Moses told them to kill all the boys and every woman who has slept with a man, but save every girl who has never slept with a man. Then, according to the requirement of the law, Eliezer the priest said to the soldiers who had gone into battle that all of them who have been defiled by a dead body must stay outside the camp for seven days, and on the seventh day they were to wash their clothes, and then they may come into the camp. In the same manner, the gold, silver, bronze, iron, tin, and lead that they got as plunder must be put through fire and water, while everything else that cannot withstand fire, including the captives, must be purified by water. Then the officers who were over the units of the army counted the soldiers under their command, and not one was missing. So they brought as an offering to the Lord the gold articles each of them acquired to make atonement for themselves before the Lord. Moses and Eliezer accepted the gold and brought it into the tent of meeting as a memorial for the Israelites before the Lord. Of the twelve tribes of Israel, two tribes, the Reubenites and Gadites, had very large herds and flocks. They saw that the land of Jazer and Gilead was suitable for livestock. So they came to Moses and Eliezer and to the leaders of the community and asked them to give the land that the Lord subdued before the people of Israel as their possession, because the land is suitable for livestock. They also asked them not to make them cross the Jordan. Moses did not agree to their request. The old generation went up from Kadesh Barnea and they discouraged the Israelites from entering the land the Lord had given them, and they perished in the wilderness. Moses asked them not to repeat the same mistake their fathers made of discouraging the Israelites from entering their promised land, and thus bring the Lord's anger on them. Then they told Moses that they would leave their women, children, and livestock in the land, but they will arm themselves and go before the Israelites until the Israelites have received their inheritance. They also said that they will not receive any inheritance on the other side of the Jordan. Moses accepted this. Then Moses gave orders about them to Eliezer, Joshua, and the family heads of the Israelite tribes because Moses knew that he is not going to enter the promised land. Then Moses gave to the Gadites, the Dubanites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, the kingdoms of Sihon, the king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, the whole land with its cities and the territory around them. So the Israelites who set out from Ramses in Egypt on the fifteenth day of the first month, the month of Abib, have now, in the fortieth year of their journey, camped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan. This is their forty-second encampment. From there the Lord told Moses to say to the Israelites, When you cross the Jordan into Canaan, drive out all the inhabitants of the land, destroy all their carved images and their cast idols, and demolish all their high places. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, they will give you trouble in the land where you live and then I will do to you what I planned to do to them. God also told them that no inheritance in Israel is to pass from tribe to tribe. Every daughter who inherits land in any Israelite tribe must marry someone in her father's tribal clan. With this, we come to the end of the stories in the book of Numbers. Till now, we have seen the commands and regulations the Lord gave to Moses to the Israelites on the plain of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. In the next video, we will have an overview of the book of Numbers and then we will move on to the next book of the Bible, Deuteronomy. God bless you.